Look for a green leaf. Bring it to the statue. You should arrive at the lab. Or somewhere there. You're at the lab? There was an explanation. You escaped from the loop. Didn't you? Get to the portal. Start jumping. Good luck. His ability to create karma portals between locations lets him explore more than one third of the submachine net. What we found our purpose, we see it clearly. Do you? We haven't even started exploring this ancient section. Our coil is already dead. I've been here before. I remember those damn looping rooms. Well, it looks like whoever was here was a uh, plot and dropped and broke their coil. Okay, once again, familiar set out. Congratulations. You passed all the tests, flaws. Your application was considered positive. You can start working at the lab tomorrow. Wait for further instructions. This is Oxiac. Welcome to Submachine 5, The Root. The next installment. And definitely we'll be on halfway, so that's a good thing. Anyway, let's pick this up. It's empty right now, but this is really useful. These are automatic notes. Whenever we find anything important, it will write it down for us. For example, it probably tells us that's not important, so that's good. Anyway, let's open that up. Let's go in here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is completely useless. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Water. Good. At least whoever left us in here was hosp hospitable enough to leave us a nice room. Uh, let's turn on the computer. Oh, dang it, no pawn! First assignment. Retrieve three so-called wisdom gems lost in a subnet over the years. Those artifacts engineered in the first sub era by unknown manufacturer are the only approvable energy source for the machine situated in the corridor location. This location can be accessed by 747 code. Power up the machine. Investigate far side of the net. Return unharmed. And see, it wrote it down for us. Corridor 747. That's nice. Maybe let's click here. Hi there, did you sleep well? I've got an assignment for you. You seem to be the best man for this job since you, your training involved dealing with wisdom crystals. You have to track back your actions and retrieve them. The easiest way is to access the root location to start from there. Root coordinates are 552. And don't forget lab coordinates which are 001. Good luck, Murto. And we got the new locations and let's click this. This is what a wisdom gem looks like, but then again, I've already collected one before, and I've already given one up before as well, so you know what it looks like, but because our character probably just wants to remember, he wrote it down. Anyway, let's go this way. Open this. Let's go in. Lock. Unlock. Open. Down here. We have our machine again, but most of the coordinates that we had from the last game don't work, so let's just stick with what we know. Let's head to 747. Boom. Oh man, this is a desolate wasteland. Uh, what's in here? Looks like this is our ship that we can't use yet because we have no power. Guessing the wisdom gem's going there. So why don't we head back to the route? I could have sworn I was standing in front of that. Okay, that's weird. That's not supposed to happen. As you probably no doubt could tell. Anyway, let's hit that. Head to the root. Now, before you go anywhere else, click this side of the teleporter. We're going to go behind it, and... Bing! We get a secret. 
Put you five secrets this time, but they're really hard to find, so keep your eyes peeled. There you go in here. Pick this up, you'll need this. Unlock, unlock, pull the plug out, open that up, suck that in. Now we've got light. I am God. Okay, let's go through here. What's this? Does nothing right now. Don't worry, that's easily fixed later. Um, can't do anything with that yet. And that is completely useless. Pick up this wrench. None of these seem to work, so let's leave. But for some reason, he decides it's important enough to write down. I wouldn't agree, I think it's useless. We go down here, let's unscrew these. I am Dexter. Anyway, take the key. Go back, go into this room. Use a rusty key on this. And we get our first cipher plate. Now you're wondering, what do we do with these things? Well, we slot them into here and go on a brilliant adventure. But they're nowhere near as cool as a teleporter thing, so let's just take that for now. Okay, so let's look around here. Nothing of interest right now, but what's this? C6H807 multiplied by H2O. So let's see, that would be... Um... You know, I can't be bothered to do my fucking chemistry homework right now, so yeah. Let's just leave that. Uh, that's of no use to me. Head back up here, slide the cipher one into this side. Now let's head down and into here, and we get our second cipher plate. So now we have two cipher plates, and we have two slots. Then we save you doing the math, that's seven locations we can go to. Anyway, move that out of the way. We got our second... Our second secret. <laughs> I was trying to sound cool, but I couldn't. Uh, that's of no use to me right now, but later it will be. Let's go up here, go up. Now, uh, let's do a bit of experimenting. Let's put Cypher 2 into here. Alright, now, in here... We can't really go anywhere, but let's go down here and flick all these into that position. That's already been done. Oh, kind, but I think I just missed something. Yep, take that. I need that. That's really important. Slide that into that position. This is important, guys. And let's go down here. Now, these will be important later. Look on this side, there's another secret. Slide that. That was wholly necessary. Anyway, slide down to there. Again, sorry for screen glitches. I really don't know why this game series really likes to do that. Let's roll this. Once. Twice. Three times. By the way, yeah, he mentioned it was a charger, so... Yeah, ancient chargers, people. You had to do the charging yourself. Yeah, no sockets back then. Anyway, let's go in here. Let's see where we go. Oh, wait. No. Wait a minute. If I put cipher plate two in here, where did we go again? Oh, yeah, in this room. Anyway, if you notice, that has been broken. So now we can go through. Let's grab that wisdom gem. Wait, this place seems familiar. Where have I seen this before? By the way, four secret. I've already got four out of five. It's only taken me about seven minutes. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll spoil the fun. Fifth secret is in there. Why don't I go get that now? Put the coil in here. Cipher plate two into here. And press that button. You've got all five secrets. That was easy. Anyway, let's head back and grab our coil because we don't need to leave it in there. Now, let's put cipher plate one into this slot. Head down and put it, the coil into here. Go back out. 
take that out, put cipher plate 2 into the other side. Go down. Now, look at these symbols where I get. Well, you don't have to, I'll recall it for you. So now it's recorded these three symbols. Again, important for later. Yeah, I can't really tell you. Anyway, let's try putting both in. Now we're in the 3D room. Be prepared to be very disoriented. Disoriented. Oh wait, before you go, grab that. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna go do this. Roll that way. Was that, did that roll the correct way? Yes it did. Uh, that has to be rolled twice then, no matter which way it goes. One, two. They're guessing that's done three times. One, two, three. There we go, we got the metal box. Now we can get out of here. Take that out, take that out. What if we try the reverse? Two, one. In here, let's go up. Let's go to this side. Press that switch. Press that switch. Gate slides the other side. Go down here. Now let's put the light bulb we stole into here. Now we can go in. Now uh, we need to put in. Uh, that's. I forgot what that's called. Some. Uh, let's call that. Jiggy Man. Um, XV. Jiggy Man XV. Jiggy Man XV. Roll this. It's all sides down, let's go down. Hey, I remember this place. Well, no time for reminiscing, we need to use this to cheat the system. Slot that in there, and now we don't need to take it back. Aw, oh, you, you, you used to be in a really cool place. Okay, um, get out. <clears throat> it's time to go get, get out of this room. I do have five secrets, alright, good. Go to the other side. Uh, we need to go to the bathroom. This stuff ain't nice, so let's just drop this in here. Science. But there's a wisdom gem, but we can't stick our hand in, otherwise it'll die. So what we need to do... Wrench that open. Now look in, and grab the wisdom gem. All three wisdom gems are now in our possession. So why don't we get out of the route? Now let's head back to the corridor. Go into this room. Let's plug our wisdom gems in. Perfect. Hit the switch. Whee! Whee! Welcome to the secret location. It's called secret location, not because it's hidden, but because you can get here. You can get, you can use it here those secrets that you have found during the game. This is a section with author's commentaries. Mine. I'll explain some aspects of this game that are quite interesting, in my opinion. If you run out of ideas but would like to continue discovering this area, you can always go back to Submachine Five and look Submachine and look for more secrets. Just go left and hit the appropriate button. There are five secrets in this game. So if you hit that, you go back to main menu. If you hit that, go back into the game. I don't want to do either. I'm going to plug my first secret in. Go to the gate. The computer. The computer. You know that I like to mess with point and click rules of gameplay. Here goes another one. You have a computer that is turned off. In all other games, you'd have to find a power cord, turn the electricity on, know the password to access the computer, and find a CD or disc with some useful information on it. Not here, you just push the power button and voila! Information at your fingertips. Just like in real life. Yay! That 
One in. Let's see. No, our cipher plates. What does cipher plate be? One being that one. How many combinations? As we can clearly see from the picture above, we didn't get to see all the root locations. Just a tiny part. We found two of those cipher plate thingies, and they gave us the opportunity to visit six locations. But wait a sec, weren't there six of them? What, weren't there six of them plates in the beginning? Who can tell me how many combinations we get from six cipher plates? Any, anyone? A lot. Again, save the mass, that's actually 43 locations. Alright, let's see. 3D puzzle and 2D environment. Now this one is something I was thinking about for a long time. Since some machines are two dimensional, you can go up, down, le right and left. How can I add more depth to the situation? Some 3D puzzle? And behold there it was, my humble attempt on creating that. You actually had to imagine going around a central room in order to set the puzzle to the right position. With a grid of nine rooms, you can go around forever. And there is one room in the middle. Kaboom! Secret in again. Speak of kaboom. Sweet memories. In case you didn't notice, this puzzle that opens door to part of sub two section, and believe it or not, those but those doors appear in the original sub two, is almost the same as in sub one. You've got three switches which have to be set to right positions, then a valve that overheats a pipe which explodes and the puzzle is solved. Does that mean I'm running out of ideas? Is the uh, is this the end of my creativity in this field? Nah, that resemblance was unintentional. Okay. Final secret. Bye bye. Ooh. Sub Machine 6, you have found all five secrets. Congratulations! That, that means you are a sub machine addict, and that you probably want to play more of them. You can rest assured that I will most definitely construct Sub Machine 6, hopefully this year, 2008. Where did we go with this giant room like cart? I want to show you the outskirts of the sub machine net in its defense systems. Satisfies? Once again, thank you for playing, and you roll.